Hi, I'm hoping to make a, another series of videos that covers a lot of the things that I didn't cover in the first few. Uh, but also some new stuff. I wanted to definitely go over a new way of building where we build from these gabion columns that are very stable. So this kind of solves the problem of of being able to uh, make a sturdy armature without having to switch back and forth to cement from using mixing mortar and then back to armature. So I wanted to go over that and also how to build with these frame beams, these new more narrow beams to, to help define the shape of a complex shape rather than those simple barrel vault structures and built out of panels and straight walls. Um, that way I can demonstrate you know how to integrate form into a natural terrain which I think is important to conserve materials and conserve energy and certainly con conserve the environment that you're building in uh, having less of a eco impact what I hope to accomplish in these next three or four videos and I hope you enjoy. I'm going to demonstrate um, again how to go make the blocks and then show how to curve those blocks. Uh, both in hand. Okay, there's another block. And now to curve these blocks, use a different tool. It's really good to work with your block up on your folding table or on another table rather than trying to do this on the ground. I call this the vampire cross because it looks like a vampire cross and the stake. And uh, the idea is just to hook this under each one of these wires and we use this as a bridge that goes underneath and through the block and this one goes on top just to make a crimp on this side so that these two links will be shorter than the outside one so it'll make a, a nice radius that's flexible for many curves so just go along like this doesn't have to be precise because we use these blocks to make larger beams. But what's important is, is that these are they're flexible in, in a range of radiuses between uh, uh, say 4 feet and 20 feet and then you could uh, when you're making your frame beam that's more of an exact curve you can adjust it and flex it into the shape. And you can shape the outer two wires a little bit to smooth out the curve as you got it up on the table. Take out any flat spots. And now you have a nice block that you can uh, sculpt some curved forms with. Okay, um, we're going to demonstrate the hog green gun and putting together a small beam section. Uh, building out of these thin beams made out of the seven inch blocks is, uh, is a different way than building out of those big flat panels you've seen on the other videos. And it makes it easier for you to create uh, complex forms because you're making one beam that fits into a, uh, a precise shape that you want. 
And normally when we do this, we'll get together all the blocks and we'll draw the shape on the ground that we're trying to create. And um, then we'll put the, we'll assemble these together in the shape so that when we pick up the solid piece, it has the shape that you want to that you want for your overhead truss piece. So we're just going to demonstrate the hog green gun. I'm going to let Gayla here demonstrate uh, connecting these two, connecting the, making this block, and we'll just go along here and and uh, connect this block together. Go ahead, Gayla. Notice she's wearing her eye protection. Very important. Get that one there. Just go on down the line here. Here, get these. Right there. Just makes a nice tight, tight grip. Here, I'm. All right. I'll just get that one there. Get a couple up here. Maybe this one. Get a couple over here. Okay, can I shoot a few? Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Good job, sweetheart. We just kind of staggered them so when, it, when we tie in the other blocks, it doesn't have a straight seam. Give it a little more stability. And we could use this extra piece of steel in here to wrap tie. And that makes a very strong connection as well. But this is easier and it's funner. <laughs> and sometimes we use those, sometimes we use wire ties, but most of the time we just use the hog ring gun. And it just makes sculpting with uh, free form ferro cement a lot funner to get to your shape. And so there we have a beam section. By having these together, it makes it very rigid in this direction. So that will be very hard for this beam to flex. And as we get closer and closer to our exact shape for a long arch span of say 16, 12 feet, um, we'll attach plates or even if we need more rigidity, say if we're going a further span closer to 20 feet, we may add another block here. So it has more breadth. And then we'll attach flat pieces of steel. When we attach a flat piece of steel across here and fold it around, it makes it, it, makes it more and more rigid because it can't flex these surfaces. This is an example of an insulated column. A uh, very simple gabion type ring of the remesh we made. And we put the pieces of the, of the EPS foam down there, the uh, extruded polystyrene dowel board. So it provides a lot of insulation, and so it makes a nice stable column that you can work with and build on without having to switch to masonry materials and plaster. You can build your whole armature and then go to the next step. So this is a real good way to attach the natural boulders and then use these frame beams to connect over to another point. Then you have a, a rough skeleton of your structure. And uh, that's it for now. And a little more to come.